Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Thank you for joining me today. June 18th, I believe. Tuesday, and today we're going to make another 12 by 12 project. But first, little show and tell. Um, if you remember the book from last week, The Hidden Journal, I couldn't wait to try it, so I did some little mini ones with 6x6 six six papers. And I didn't make the book yet, just the cover. But I'm going to make some little mini books to fill these in. I can get you back in here. And then I think when I do the 6x6 six six series, hopefully, I just use a bunch of scraps and came up with these little minis. And look at this. These two papers weren't even from the same paper pad, but they go together quite nicely. And then this one, I did a little differently so my flowers would be right side up. And there's the little cover for that one. All made with scraps. Okay. So today we're going to make this, but first the usual housekeeping. Um, thank you to my customers for their kind reviews and their orders and the kind comments on my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, Melinda, E.R. Baird, Donnie, Marta, Steph. Cindy and Pamela. Thank you so much. And I can't wait until you see these. My um, This is Naturalist Birds. And these larger Im images are on uh, Etsy. But these and these are on Shopify. And it's like, I think it's 32 pages. So those are going to be a lot of fun. And my little bluebird. Love bluebirds. So I had to put a bluebird. <laughs> and then I did this one. Naturalist seashells. Thought I should do another sea themed one. And the majority of the pages are similar. To this and it's on Etsy. So okay there's all that. So today I love this little folio and this is the first for the single-sided paper but I want to show you here there's a pocket in the front there's another little pocket in the front this is the piece where you'll need an extra piece to cover up because it will be white and then you could also put your little journal or decorate this page however you want and today I'm going to do that probably a little differently today than a one that holds a card or a journal and then over here you have this really nice roomy pocket big enough to hold photos. Let me see if I have pretty sure this is close to a 4 by 6 You can fit all your photos in there. Put your little journal in there. Fabulous little travel journal. So you will need a 12 by 12 and then you will need some scraps big enough to cover 
this space and I'm going to measure it and mark it with a pencil because the measurements aren't exact so I find it's probably going to be easier just to mark it with a pencil and then cut it. So that's what you'll need, a scoreboard, some glue, and some scissors. And hopefully I remember how to do this, so let me get my directions out here. And this is from Septeria18 again. And I thought this one was so unique. And this is the one I was going to do last time. So we're going to put our 12 by 12 base down. And we are going to score at 5. And I chose, a, um, obviously, a non-directional, which I just find it's easier the first couple times I do something. So we scored at five and then we're going to make a quarter turn and we are going to score at one and a half. Oops, that got a little crooked. One and a half and seven and a quarter. So that's five inches, a quarter turn, and then seven and a quarter. <clears throat> so I'm going to fold and burnish all these first. And this is Michael's paper, so I'm not gonna I'm not going to burnish it too not quite as forgiving as DCWV. I don't I'm gonna try to avoid cracking, so I'm just going to be kind of gentle here. So this is what we're left with. And then we're going to go to this short side of this little rectangle and we're going to cut that out and that is going to be our little tag in here. So remember it's the shorter one. Okay, so there's that. Okay. And then we're also going to so go to the opposite side of that. And we're going to cut this up to the first score. We're not going to cut it out. <laughs> I almost said cut it out, but no, we're not going to cut it out. Just going to try to go very straight. Okay. So this becomes our envelope, like so. And then this becomes our fold over like so. And then I'm going to get my corner rounder. And 
and I'm going to I rounded all four corners I rounded these two corners as well but I don't think I'm going to this time because I ended up with a little a little space in there and probably I don't want that. I can't remember if she did all four or not. So I'm going to get that glued first and foremost. So you'll see how easy this is. Whoops. Boy, you're really flowing out. Okay, I'm going to glue this side, get that out of the way, don't want to lose all my space in my envelope, so My glue is really, I just filled it up yesterday. So it's really gushing. Okay. There's our envelope. Let me just hold this a second. Hope everyone is having a beautiful summer day. Maybe I see a little, little bit of trimming. Okay. Okay, so then We're going to fold this over and then we're going to fold this up. Make sure I get a nice straight edge there. And then we're going to fold this down the whole way. And this is what is going to form our two pockets in the front. And you know what I might do? I might put a little notch in there. Just to make it a little more. Let's see if this is too big. No, I don't think so just to make it a little more identifiable as a pocket. And I should have saved that piece, but wait a minute, I have another one right here. I'm gonna pop that in there. One of those instances when it pays to save everything. Oops. Okay. A little glue splash there. Whoops, don't move so much. You're still moving. Okay. <coughs> so then we're going to glue here and here. Do 
to form that pocket. So I hope everyone is enjoying. We're having a beautiful summer spell. Boy, I'm getting glue everywhere. I'm going to have to try to go in there with an eraser. And then I'm just going to glue this and this to make this pocket. This looks like it might need a little trim. Now if you find you're getting some resistance, when you fold that page over, this, this this page here, you can cut a little more off of there, but I didn't find it on the first one, and so far I'm not finding it on the second one either. Jeez. Now I wish I would have chose a pattern paper. Come on. Okay, I'm just going to put a clip on here. That's a little thicker, so I'm going to clip it a second. While we trim up our tag. And make our tag. So this is the little piece that we cut out, and I'm just going to score, or cut along that score to make that a little more clean. And then I'm just going to get this. and. What did I do? Last time I think I did the large one. So I'll just do that again. It's a little, maybe a little disproportionate for that tag, but the other one seems too small. <laughs> okay. So there's our pocket in the front. And there's our blank space and there's our envelope. And I got glue more glue. Oh my goodness. This is gonna require some decorator repair. And I don't know why I have a little white there, but I do. So that's gonna require some inking. This is the edge of the cutoff strip. It has little stripes, so I don't mind that. So now this is where our extra piece comes in. And I could just use this one and cut it down to size. That would look nice. But I think what I'm going to do so I can use up these three strips are that I'm just going to put three pockets in here. Probably going like this. 
So I'm going to cut this down first. Because I think I want that one in the middle. And I'm just going to measure with a pencil. Or you know what? Measure with a white pen so I can see it. Get my pen to work. Come on. Make something. Something, something. Yeah. yeah, already I lost my pencil mark. I'm just going to mark that. Then I'm going to cut this. I'll do it at three. another inch off I will. Okay, I love that paper. And then I think I want this one on the bottom. So probably the best thing to do is measure them off of this. Okay, it's two. Hate losing that double side, but oh well. So let me make sure this is going to work. One pocket. Okay, so I guess I'm going to cut all of my notches at the same time. Um, I think I'm going to go over. Okay, okay. I'm going to put a mark. Two and a half. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so which one do I put first? I think the top one goes first. It's going to be a little odd, and I do need another. Where did all of those fly? I only see one. like a different color. Oh well. I have another one here somewhere. Let's just pop that in there. I don't know where those all flew to. <laughs> But I don't want one with the same paper, so. I'm just going to cover that up. Where are we? 28. Okay. I'm sorry I'm a little quiet today. Hardly got any sleep. My brother is in the hospital. And, um, We're still doing tests. His aide found him face down in the yard yesterday, or Sunday. And um, so far they've really only determined a couple things, maybe, they're not sure. He was dehydrated. Um, he might have pneumonia. They want to do more tests to try to figure out what happened. Okay, there's pocket number two. I hope I have enough things to, um, you know what, I could have I could have left that bottom one open and made that a deep pocket. And then just have everything end at the bottom. But that's okay. So, there's nothing I can do, so I'm just waiting to hear. This is a little wider, but I'm not going to bother trimming it. Okay. So I hope that's not odd. I don't really, I don't usually do this kind of stuff. Um, let me see what I can find. It's tiny. Let's 
see how that's going to work. So this is just an idea. You guys can do whatever you want. You can put another pocket going this way for your journal. You can put a pocket going this way. You can just cover this with paper, which I'll probably just put a tiny flat card on there with a tab. And then, let me see what else I might have. Yeah, that'll work. And then another one right there. There. Okay, so aside from my glue, gloobers, there you have it. Now I am getting a little bit of get this fold redone a little bit. Now that I put those other pieces in there I am getting a tiny bit of resistance but it's still okay and it's still folding pretty flat. Oh and another thing if you wanted to go back this way Instead, you can do that too. So either way you want this, but I, I think I kind of like it this way. And let me put something in there. Whoops, that's upside down. And something. There's your little tag pocket. Can you just imagine all the ways you could decorate this? Very cute little travel, travel folio, I guess it's called. She said, easy fold ephemeral holder. So there's your envelope and if you want you're going to have come up with a way to close that envelope which I would probably actually you know what I might do for this is a band and then you could just slide it and hide it under here that's probably what I would do And I might even round that corner because it's it's a little off. Unless I trim, I need a trim. Let me see if I. I think I'm just going to round that corner and that will take care of that. But that's that's where I had a um I think that's where I cut this off. So just going to round that corner. That helps that. Okay. Okay, everyone. You're at 35. That's an extra piece that I had in there. Where did my... And then this one I kind of designed for a book or a journal card and I put the pocket over here. So that's our first that's our first single sided. I know that goes there. 
those in there further. And straight. <laughs> You have your little little pocket, and I know that goes in further. And those cute little tabs. So that's that's why I did that. Plus, it keep holds that down a little better. So okay, everyone. I also forgot to tell you, my cat had a run in with a fox. He's fine, and um, I also forgot to tell you we had a bear that actually destroyed my neighbor's bird feeder. So it's been wild kingdom around here. So I hope you all have a great week, and I hope you'll give this a try, especially for summer, if you are going to be... Um, needing any travel folios. It's great to hold all your stuff from your trip. Okay everyone, thank you so much for your time. I'll see you next time. Bye.